Okay, today's how-to repair video is on the SB900. This one uh, here, actually here, is dead. So I'm going to take a look at it and see what we can do with it. Uh, I have another one here just to you know, test my batteries, make sure they're working okay. And let's see here. Yeah, they're working. Okay, good. Quickly check them out in here. And nothing. Hit the test button. Nothing. It's dead as a doorknob. So, uh, let's start taking it apart. I've never taken one of these apart before, so uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's just rip into it and see what we can find. It looks like I'm going to have to start at the bottom here and work my way in. I'm hoping that it's just a fuse link or something's just not connected to the battery, uh, the battery area and, or something. I'm hoping that it's obvious. Again, this is a SB900 Nikon flash. Okay, the hot shoe connector comes off fairly easy. Looks like they had hidden screws in here in the uh, so you just give it a 180 turn and then you should be able to uh, you'll have access to the screws I find that a lot of uh, repairing electronics is just common sense Man made it, so therefore man can fix it.
There seems to be some clips on the bottom here. Trying to find any additional screws. I don't see any. So I'm taking. I'm just going to rip into it and start pulling it apart. It's got to come apart. Looks like there's probably hidden screws in this area here or this area there. That's going to release the top portion. I can't seem to unhook it without... Uh, I could force it apart, but uh, that's not the idea. I don't want to make work for myself, so it's going to have to, uh, you have to dig into this area here. pretty good. Yeah, like I suspected, there's some hidden screws in here. Take off this side. As per usual, they've gone extra crazy on the glue, which is a good thing. I understand that, but this is just crazy. Just rip into it and get it off of there. Okay. So, we're in. And now it's time to start ripping this apart. Okay, we're in. Uh, trick here is remember where everything goes. Looks like there's little slots for these to sit in. Remember the order. Actually, this could be helpful too further on down the line if, if my particular problem is a dead issue. So, um, uh, yours may be that you need to replace the bulb. So, that's basically this video is kind of like a two in one working on two different problems here. Um, well, just keep on going. And it looks like it just unhooks. There's a little tab in here that it just hooks onto. Probably the same thing on this side too. Yeah, it looks that way. I can see another tab on this side. And it 
it's also revealed some screws underneath here too. Okay, I can see that there's going to be a trick to this, and that's going to be removing this side first, the side with the power, and then you got to get it over top of this uh, depressing type of button here. So I have to be very careful here. So just bend it upward. And then we can slide it over top of this. Okay, so this plunger comes out. Ta-da! There you go. With spring. Boom. Okay, so here we are. We've got the back off. And now we're just about to check some fuses here. We've got a primary fuse link right here. And it tests okay. So I'm looking for possibly a second one and it's probably buried into the board somewhere. So I'll have to take that apart. Looks like we're going to have to unclip one of these wires or one of these ribbon cables off of here. So just peel back the tape. Maybe leave it some of it on there, and you can use it to grip it with. And then uh, you got to lift this one tab on here. And up she comes and. Out she is, that's it. Okay, so what I've done, I was going to uh, start unsoldering everything, but I thought uh, what I would do is I would start to take out the cables and and just reseat everything because this device it's the cables could be bumped or something could be moved around so I just worked on the main cable mostly and uh, and now I'm gonna try it out see if that does it so it's just a matter of just slowly you know double checking everything that you're doing I've just reinserted the batteries back into it. Oh yeah, and it's working. Okay, so I know for sure then it's just a cabling issue. It wasn't any kind of fuses or anything like that. So that's a good thing, but um, but while it's apart, just be aware that that in here there's fuses in here 
and uh, actually the, the fuses also run through the bottom of the battery area so knowing that what you can do is um, just stick your screwdriver in each port and then go with your your meter and you can meter out these and make sure they make a connection and what you're doing when you do that is you're testing these uh, these pigtail fuses that are going across there and they're jumping across so that way you can check out uh, the fuses so there's a, uh, three of them there's one here and there's another one underneath and another one underneath that just it just jumps between each circuit so just to it just I don't know a triple fault kind of protection thing it's good and tough and uh, just an FYI too they are 10 amp pigtail fuses you're gonna need so if one of them blows you're gonna have to do what I did just take it all apart and, just, and get nasty with it so uh, I'm not going to show you the dirty details on putting it back together again. Uh, I'll just save us both some time and uh, yeah, so double check your cables and uh, reseat them before you start unsoldering everything and checking everything because you might be just wasting your time. So uh, that's it. That's all. Good luck.